Hello folks, Jonathan Milam here. Just a fun fit. I've got two great horns from uh, years gone by. I've got a 1939, I believe it is, Super Recording by Olds. This is the original model. Uh, now they call it a twin tube, tube lead pipe. I think they called it a dual lead pipe back then. Uh, no um, script on the bell as they made it originally. Just here, and I believe they call this the Olds Recording Super Trumpet. I believe if I recall correctly, or the Super Olds Recording Trumpet. Nice, nice horn. Um, definitely uh, well used. And then I've got a Mount Vernon from 1959, so 39, 59, and the Super Recording does have more miles on it. We're going to just play an old gospel song, nice, nice slow chord, so you'll be able to get the uh, uh, tune of the horn or the uh, sound of the horn, tone of the horn. I need the, oh, I need the. Going to play this with a GR64 MB mouthpiece. And um, I do have a shallower mouthpiece. We'll pick up the tempo in just a few minutes. But now we will play on the 59 Olds, <laughs> excuse me, this would be a Bach Mount Vernon. Unmarked bell, I believe it may be a 38 uh, with the seven lead pipe. Lead pipe's a little bigger than usual. And um, if it is a 38 bell, I think that's also slightly larger than the uh, standard 37. Okay, same mouthpiece with the GR 64 MB. that tuning slide. I'm going to have to pull that tuning slide out just a little bit. Was fighting that uh, intonation. Uh, like a lot of the medium bores, the lead pipe is, I believe it is uh, 5 eighths, um, 12 and 5 eighths inches instead of 13. There for a while uh, the Bach horns were cut shorter and uh, this is one of those that was. All right, gonna go to a shallower mouthpiece. This is a medium shallow, and I think really the shallower mouthpieces just unload 
unleash the uh, potential of this super recording. Sweet sounding horn, but uh, I think it does really good when it's uh, bouncing along with a uh, slightly tighter mouthpiece. Really a wonderful horn to have. Fairly rare, especially this uh, early model. And again, this is the Olds Super recording. Okay, we'll do that same thing with the Bach Mount Vernon. And a lot of times I will throw in an aftermarket MK tuning slide. Makes the horn a little bit easier to play. Uh, but uh, we're just using the original Bach Stradivarius slide that was made for this horn. And we'll play that same song again with the GR64MS mouthpiece. couple of great horns here and I feel very fortunate to have both of them the old super recording and a Bach Stradivarius from the Mount Vernon era take care of yourself comments folks we love the comments I like the comments more than I do the thumbs up but we like the thumbs up as well if I've got any horns for sale it'll be on the first line down there if you'd like to subscribe we're in the vicinity of 4,800 uh, subscribers. And uh, just a few months ago, we passed 2 million views here at YouTube. How time flies. You can find better trumpeters, but you can't find nicer ones. <laughs> As always, folks, take care of yourself and someone near you.